Hi, my name is Subhai. I will be showing you how to quickly create this address logbook inside Affinity Designer. As you can see, this is the title here, address logbook. Then there is a simple table that contains name, address, phone, company, city, notes, and then date of birth, mobile, website, zip. So I have created this once and repeated on the page to create a very simple address logbook. You can print it and use it yourself or you can create a cover and publish it on Amazon KDP. If you are interested, you can also download this template from a Gumroad store. I have created three different versions, address logbook 6 into 9, address logbook 7 into 10, address logbook 8.5 into 11 and all the versions have three different page counts 100 pages 110 pages 120 pages and the source files are also included that is dot eps jpg png psd that is photoshop file and then svg and powerpoint file that is basically not editable but you can add or remove pages using this powerpoint file you can also create this from scratch using the process shared in this video open the affinity designer software i have just downloaded affinity designer 2 you can also create this in affinity designer 1 so once you have opened the affinity designer you can go to the file here and create new document here and then you can set the layout here 8.5 into 11 the dpi as 300 color as cmyk margins you should add minimum margins as 0.375 inches click on the link here and just click on the tab and it will automatically add the other margins then you can go to the bleed setting if you want to add bleed you can but for the time being i'm not adding a bleed here because it is no bleed interior so once you are satisfied with these settings you can click on create so we have blank document with the right margins if you want to increase the margins you can go back to page setup and go to margins and if you want to you can add point five inch margins all around then we will be adding a very basic text tool here artistic text tool and right here address and just reduce the size space log book reduces even further now let me zoom in select the click on the selection tool move tool and center it you can change the font to something like open and select a bold font here then you can select this logbook text just uncheck the bold form secondly you need to use this transform if you want to see the actual spacing from the top and from the bottom you can go to the windows here and check this transform and it will add here so here you can easily see the spacing from the top from the right from the left no i want to add the spacing here 0.7 Five. this is from the top this is from the left if we want to change the spacing from the left right just align here and add the spacing to around 0.75 like this just place it here on the 0.5 that is totally up to you now the real part is to create a table that holds our data like we see in our address logbook we have our original file and we have our new file before making any changes go to file and save this as because you don't lose any progress so address logbook address logbook and here we take a right kdp so we are done here uh, we will go back to our original file and here i will look the table here i can draw a very simple shape like here this one here we can see the sizes from our original file the size is 7.4 so i will make this 7.4 as well 7.4 inches okay we can also see the height from the original file the height is 2.065 i will add the same here 2.065 would be the height of the table i can go here to the corner here and click on the rounded corner and then i can go to the percentage and reduce the percentage to something like 10 or 7 then we go to the swatches here keep the fill color as white and then add a stroke as 0.5 or 0.7 let me check the original one i created a stroke of 1.6 points so i can add the same to 1.6 or 1.5 even one point is also sufficient then i will simply use the pen tool to create a line here click once here hold the shift key and click here it will add a very simple line but this time you need make the line 0.5 here select both of these go to swatches and set the color to this one that is 
a lighter color than blackish let me check the spacing from the top from for this one you need to keep a spacing of at least 0.28 inches between the lines like click on this line and it will say that 1.311 inches from the top we can set the same here or you can place the first line on the very edge of the line here and notice the spacing here then you can duplicate the line control plus j and place the second line by adding point 28 into the original one if you go to layers the original curve is at 1.13 inches and the second curve should be let me use the calculator that is 1.13.34 inches that would be spacing so it should be ideally on 1.47 so let me check the second line and here we can write 1.47 so it would be placed here once you duplicate the first line all you need to do is add spacing for the first line like we have 1.47 plus 0.34 inches so it should be on 1.81 inches so i can write 1.81 inches then i can control j and it will automatically select the spacing and keep adding the lines down below so in this way you can maintain the line to line distance of point four inches between the lines you can also select all of these lines and go back to the alignment tool and use this align vertically option automatically add the equal spacing so we have our basic table here then we can add some other line in the center to add a divider like use the pen tool here click once here in the center make sure this snapping is enabled if it is not enabled you can click once here now it is disabled you can click again it would be enabled you can click here once and then just go down and click second time similarly i will duplicate this control plus j move it down here and just here now we can change the color of this to a bit darker color so that we can easily see just click on the stroke and we make a bit darker color we have created our table all we need to do is add our text boxes you can use the same font that is the poppins font but this time it would be in very simple regular format here once write name don't worry about the size i will reduce it add a colon here use the move tool place it between the lines here increase the size to 14 so that it looks better roughly place in the center by zooming it like this so now we add, have added our first text box you can simply duplicate this and move click on this while holding the alt key place it here and here you can change the text to date birth add a colon here while creating this remember to keep saving the file so that you don't lose any work now you can duplicate text boxes place it here here you can write something like let me see what i have written in my previous book address this would be address because this is the long space here you can write address duplicate the text box here you can write phone then you can duplicate the text box move it here here you can write email or you can write mobile and here you can write email company website phone mobile company website city zip things like that i haven't added the email option here you should write like this here you should write company company or work and just duplicate this here you can see you can write website then there are two lines more to go that would be city and zip and then lastly we will add notes duplicate again you can write city colon here you can duplicate this you can write zip here finally you can duplicate this one place it here you can write notes okay we are done we have created very simple table here that includes very necessary information about the contact select all of these including the title then control plus g to the group and here you can write contact something like that you can duplicate this control plus j and place it like here then you can press control plus j again it will automatically add i have pressed control plus j twice you can move this well down here select all of these go to alignment tool 
and align vertically to evenly space them on the page. Go to file and save. You can add a little divider here if you want to. I have added stars. You can go to down a tool and here I can add a star. Drag a really little stars here while holding the shift key and go to swatches. Switch these colors and remove the outline color. Keep the fill color as it is. Place it like here. Duplicate this. Control by J. Place it like here. And then Control by J. Five stars. Select the first one and hold the shift key and select the last one. And Control plus G to group. Here you can write stars. Center line this. Then you can duplicate this. I'll reduce the size before duplicating. Control by J. Place it between the other two like this. Then Control plus J and it will automatically place it last one so zoom out zoom out here we go we have just created a very simple address of book using affinity designer you can go back to the title and move a bit down or reduce its size because it is too larger okay this is a simple address log book if you want to ready made template for that you can download from my Gumroad store. The link is in the description below. You will also get a 25% off. Finally, you can go to the export. Here you can select the export option. If you want any PDF, JPG or any other format, you can select here. It is showing the transparent background. The workaround is go to the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle and like this. And go to swatches, change the fill color to white. Then you can move it down like this for the really very end here you can go back to the file save and this time you can use the export button again and it will show the white background here so you can export this as pdf png or any other check the settings and then go to the export save this go back to our page here this is address logbook kdb png just open it here we go we have our address logbook in this way you can create very simple book interiors using Affinity designer and it is totally free for this next six months i hope you will love this video if you want more kdp interiors do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video watch my next video as well